Good day people, welcome to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. If you haven't watched my previous video analysis on silver, the good news for you if you are hoarding silver is that don't sell your silver. I already mentioned in one of my videos that I'm looking for silver to be selling somewhere around $200 an ounce in next about 8 to 10 years, maybe 12 years. But it is eventually heading there. We have been waiting for this uh, long bull market in silver and it is already approached. We already have completed, seen quite a big surprising movement from the bottom right around about 11.20 all the way up to $30 what was astonishing movement. So we are going to see the silver price moving going upward. The only issue however is that whenever the prices move to in whatever direction either bearish uh, market or either bullish market they always tend to do so in in waves so all of a sudden does not happen that all of a sudden overnight the price of silver will shoot to two hundred dollar or even a hundred dollar that's a huge jump we already have taken about two hundred percent uh, increase in the price of in silver so market has to get some time to absorb all that price that has increased the people who were bearish they need to adjust and a lot of accumulation has to occur before we actually can start another seven to eight to let's say twelve years of bull cycle in in silver it does not it's not something that which is just two months three months four months price movement i know with a lot of press money printing has already occurred in usa but you have to see that the u.s economy is, is huge but still the tide is changing towards silver and I will look at US, uh, I'll look at uh, Elliott Wave Analysis in today's video to let you uh, give a guide where to buy silver. If you have missed the opportunity of buying silver, you don't have to regret that, that you have missed it. It will give you some sort of timeline. It will give, help you to put some money together and then uh, this video will help you see where silver is heading. As far as, let's have a look at the larger time frame. So I can actually show you on the monthly time frame we can see that we had a very bearish market for silver. I believe that bearish market just because of the look of the price movement is over right now. It's been going on from a uh, good while about 2010 I believe. So it's a good 10 year uh, time interval for bearish market. We do believe that now bearish market in silver is over. However, the price is going to be going down. reason we have astonishing seen price movement in silver and I'm considering this whole price movement as wave one now uh, we can already see that the some of the mining companies have already started to show some trouble and the reason is because although they have completed an impulsive wave yet they, ha they yet have to go through us uh, correctional phase and mind you I'm expecting that we will see, see silver going some sort of this behavior all right we have completed wave one already this is one part of wave two and then we will see uh, another price movement upward and most probably most probably that will be blocked right over here the next push will be blocked right over here too is a quite a m great movement for silver and then we'll see some sort of this behavior the point is we will have some sort of two points this will be a definite indication I won't say definite indication. I would say probably, uh, probably high, highly uh, probable, uh, probably occurring instance, and that's going to happen somewhere that we are expecting to see silver pull back. Maybe not over here. Maybe somewhere in this region. It does not have to go all the way down. But the point is, we are requiring a deeper correction in silver. Let's have a look at the daily time frame. So if you have missed silver, if you have missed silver, wait for the prices to fall back somewhere in this region, uh, this region, or somewhere in this region. And then let's have a look. And if you have already been holding uh, silver bullion, don't sell it. It's, I know you are uh, probably want to see the price go to $100 an ounce overnight, and uh, because of all the money printing US is doing, but it's going to take some time. Silver is a huge market, and it's going to take some time before we can accumulate all of that silver. So let's have a look at a four hourly chart and see what the price is expecting. I'm expecting that we have already completed wave A right over here. This is wave B of a expanded flat and I'm expecting that uh, we are going to see wave down, wave C down in an expanded flat. And this, and when prices reach right over here, we'll, we'll see that prices start rising up over here. When prices reach over here, we'll have to give further analysis. It does not 
definitely has to bounce back so this will be a good opportunity let's have a look at four hourly chart and see what's actually happening hourly chart right now so we have seen that the price is uh, bounced back sharply from the support right over here and uh, this is a good indication of what this is a good uh, indication of distribution this is indication that the prices are actually vibrating up and down between this area and I'm expecting that we, this will actually continue for the next few days so we might see prices pushing up on Monday Tuesday or just on Monday and then we will see prices falling down probably see another support around here and another jump right over here that's what I'm expecting it's a little too stretch for silver for this much to say too early but uh, this support is very important which lies at 50% of this price movement and if this uh, distribution phase occurs then uh, especially the banks and the large hedge funds who are actually really bullish on uh, precious metal they are going to be going short in this area and when they have done the distribution we expect the price of silver to come down only to find the bottom of wave uh, to somewhere over in this region and then of course jump back up again so we have to remember that always always is has occurred the prices always tend to move in the form of waves it does not move in a straight form and we also need to understand the amount of uh, the amount of price that has increased in silver and so market has to digest that and before the new sh up impulsive wave can occur we need a good period of time to do that uh, thank you so much for visiting if you like the channel and the analysis please press that thumbs up button so it uh, video can actually uh, spread on YouTube thank you so much have a good one and bye bye